Hey guys, what's up? Welcome back to my channel. Today I decided, you know, since I'm just such a ridiculously awesome makeup guru, that I would teach you guys like the steps of how to become a makeup guru. Step number one is to have a ridiculously long intro where you're just doing weird things and staring at yourself. So yes, if you guys want more tips, keep on watching. Definitely don't forget to subscribe and give this video a big thumbs up if you liked it. Thanks for watching, guys. So step number one is obviously you need to prime your face. Now you're going to rub this in. I'm using one that's just like a smoothing primer, but if you're going to be a makeup guru, you need to hide every single pore that you have on your entire face. You can't have any pores at all. None. Now going in with foundation, I'm using this Tarte hydrogel thing. I don't I don't really know, but you know, it's not sponsored or anything, so whatever. And I'm just like dabbing this in with my little wet egg. Now, you don't have to use like a beauty blender to achieve this look because they're like $20 for a fucking sponge. So, you can use my coupon code hashtag, uh, Taylor's wet egg and yeah, save like 5% because I'm just like helping you guys out because that's what beauty gurus do. We give you guys coupon codes. Not to benefit us at all though. It's it's literally just to benefit you guys I promise so don't forget to use it Taylor's wet egg now full coverage is an absolute must when you're a beauty guru because you can't have any of your flaws showing so all of like those pimples and like those craters in my chin yeah those need to get the hell out of here because I gotta look flawless you know so use the heaviest duty foundation that you have and just rub it in multiple layers just rub it in like you can't have any flaws showing Next, we're going in with the Tarte Shape Tape Concealer, and you are not a beauty guru until you use Tarte Shape Concealer pretty much in every video. And, you know, you probably can't even get your hands on this because every beauty guru has pretty much gotten all of them in stock, and they're always out of stock. But, you know, if you can find them in stores, I highly recommend this. And I am just lightly, you know, putting this on my face. Like, you don't need a heavy amount at all. I mean, you need to cover every little remotely dark circle that you have underneath your eyes, but but, you know it, it's not that much right and you also have to like brighten it up too so I use two shades of my Tarte Shape Cape concealer because I really need to to really highlight those under eyes you know I want to have the Sun basically beaming off my under eyes because I need to look awake and I'm not awake ever so you need this heavy-duty concealer in your life to be a makeup guru then I'm going in and I just baked my under eyes bake it in the oven girl you want to deep fry your under eyes and while those are baking underneath I'm going to be setting my face with a regular face powder and I'm using the um what's this called again uh no well forgot what it is anyway I'm using that and I'm just like rubbing that all over my face then I'm going to be dusting away my baking because you can't have it on there too long otherwise you'll get crusty crusts Oh my god, <laughs> how did my like fit tea get in here? That's weird. Anyway, I have a coupon code for that, by the way. It, like makes you really healthy. Anyway, um, then I'm going in with like the ridiculously infamous Peach Palette by Too Faced because every, every makeup girl is talking about this palette. So I'm going in with those two shades and I'm just going to be like rubbing that in on my eyelid, whatever. It's like those pinky shades, peachy shades, whatever. I pretty much just want my entire eyelid to just look like a peach essentially. So I'm just lightly building that up with this uh, Morphe 85 to Wallaby 100 brush and I'm just rubbing that in and yeah I'm just kind of building up that color as we go on it's like a really beautiful peach color because everyone and their mom is wearing peach eyeshadow so it's it's really important that you have this palette going back in with the peach palette I'm going in with those two darker colors now and I'm using my morphe explosion 8 100 your mom's dumb brush and I'm just going to be rubbing that into my crease and I'm just deepening that peachy color then I'm taking this like compact brush or whatever and I'm just packing that color a little bit deeper and I'm going back in with my morphe your mom's a hoe brush and I'm just going to be rubbing that out because you got to blend that shit bitch like blend that fucking 
fucking shit in because that's like number one like you need to fucking blend going in with this shimmer shade and that other shimmer shade whatever oh yeah and you gotta spray like that $20 fix plus max spray to like really you know get the full effect of your shimmers or whatever and I'm just like packing that like pinkish color in wherever I feel like it it's just like shimmery and beautiful like me whatever and I'm just like packing that in over and over again with that wet uh, $20 spray brush that I sprayed and then I'm going in with the inner corner with like a lighter shade because you know how we do we gotta we gotta highlight that inner corner even though you can't really see it but it's there now I'm going in with those dark rotten peach colors and I'm just going to be rubbing that in on like the bottom lash line to really just smoke it out kind of give me that dead look you know but it all comes together in the end I swear so like flick it up connect it whatever it, it looks really good you just the farther down you go too the the more dead you look the better you know whatever oh god false eyelashes uh, these are always so awkward i'm going in with like these ardell ones i have a coupon code a coupon code a coupon code like uh taylor's lash coupon code whatever you save some money i guess yeah and ta-da super easy you know i'm not going to show you guys how i do it i just it just magically appeared on my eyelid because that's just how it is when you're a beauty guru now it's time to bronze my face and I'm using my favorite Too Faced Sweet Tea Bronzer and I'm just putting a little bit on my cheekbones first before I go in with contour because you know that those beauty gurus, you gotta have chiseled fucking cheekbones chiseled cheekbones that's key and i'm just like rubbing it out wherever else i feel like it wherever else i want to be bronzed going in with contour my kat von d shade and light palette i'm chiseling out those cheekbones honey yes chisel that shit chisel that fucking cheekbone oh yes cut your cheek in fucking half that is what you got to do cut that bitch in half cut it in half and you know i'm not like that good at blending with contour so i just kind of like hope for the best it looks it looks good i think yeah yeah, cut it in half, bitch. Cut that shit in half. You know, and uh, <laughs> cute. And of course, since I don't know how to really blend in my contour all that well, I just go in with like that bronzer brush and I just kind of start buffing out that contour because you can't be having these like crazy harsh lines. You got to look natural. This is a natural look. Can't you tell? So yeah, buff it in, girl. Buff it in. And I went in with a little bit more bronzer too. <laughs> now it's time to highlight, which is every every beauty guru's secret weapon right here because you need to be shining to the fucking gods above you need to see yourself from fucking outer space you need to be blinding everyone as you walk by literally so i'm just packing this on oh god fix press oh god 20 dollar spray it just like emphasizes the color i think that's what i tell myself because i spent 20 dollars on a spray that i spray on my brush it's probably just water whatever so i'm going in and i'm highlighting but this isn't enough this isn't enough, so I just need to keep going in. Keep going in, because you need to fucking blind people. Just keep going in. Keep it going. More. You need more highlight. More than that, yep, keep going on like the tip of your nose, the cupid's bow, whatever the hell, yeah. So just keep highlighting. It's the most important part. More. And since that Tarte highlighter wasn't enough, I decided to go back in with a Becca highlighter and just add on top of all of the highlighting that I already did because you need to be as shiny as a fucking disco ball, baby. Just shine your cheekbones. Shine them up. Now, you cannot be a beauty guru without giant lips, you know? So I don't have lip fillers or anything. So I decided to just go the overdrawn classic look, you know, where you just kind of lightly overdraw your lips to where it's like, mm, are those natural lips? I don't really know. I mean, mm, you get the gist. Like, that's what you want them to look like. Like, kind of natural, kind of not natural. Is that fake lip? Who knows, you know? And I'm just filling that in. But like really though, can we just talk about this like fascination with these giant lips? Like when is this trend going to end again? Am I the only one that thinks that? I don't know. I don't know. Too much. When does it end?
Now I'm going in with a pinkish nude color lipstick to just, again, kind of overdraw my lips with that even more. And I like this because it's got like a sheen to it, so it makes your lips look even bigger. Now you are not a makeup guru without just absolutely drenching your face with this water in a tube again. And I'm using, uh, I don't know, it's like a hashtag Instagram one, whatever the hell it is. I don't fucking know. But I'm going in with this and I'm just spraying this all over my face to the point where I literally can't breathe because that's how you know your makeup is set. Keep going in. You think you're done? Nope. You're not done. How do these girls make them look so pretty when they're spraying this on your face? Literally, I was dying. But yeah, your face is now set, honey. Yes. So that completes today's look. If you guys thought this was fun, give it a big thumbs up. Definitely don't forget to subscribe. And thank you guys so much for watching. I will see you guys in my next video. Bye, guys.